In a narration found in Jami Atimizi, number 2701, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that Allah, the Exalted, loves gentleness in all matters. This is an important characteristic which must be adopted by all Muslims. It should be used in all aspects of one's life. It is important to understand that being gentle benefits the Muslim themselves more than anyone else. Not only will they receive blessings and reward from Allah, the Exalted, and minimize the amount of sins they commit, as a gentle person is less likely to commit sins through their speech and actions, but it benefits them in worldly affairs also. For example, the person who treats their spouse gently will gain more love and respect in return than if they treated their spouse in a harsh manner. Children are more likely to obey and treat their parents with respect when they are treated gently. Colleagues at work are more likely to help the one who is gentle with them. The examples are endless. Only in very rare cases is a harsh attitude required. In most cases, gentle behavior will be much more effective than a harsh attitude. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, possesses countless good qualities yet, Allah, the Exalted, specifically highlighted his gentleness in the Holy Quran, as it is a key ingredient required to affect others in a positive way. Chapter 3 Al-Imran, verse 159 So by mercy from Allah, you were lenient with them. And if you had been rude in speech and harsh in heart, they would have disbanded from about you. A Muslim must remember that they will never be better than a holy prophet, Peace be upon them, nor will the person they interact with be worse than Pharaoh yet. Allah, the Exalted, commanded the Holy Prophet Musa and the Holy Prophet Harun, peace be upon them, to deal with Pharaoh in a kind manner. Chapter 20 Taha, verse 44 And speak to him with gentle speech that perhaps he may be reminded or fear Allah. Harshness only repels people from Islam and causes others to believe it is a harsh and crude religion. Misrepresenting Islam in this manner is a serious offense which all Muslims must avoid. Therefore, a Muslim should adopt gentleness in all affairs as it leads to much reward and affects others, such as one's family, in a positive way. It is important to note that the main narration does not mean one should not defend themselves when others cross the line, as Islam teaches humility without weakness. But it teaches Muslims to generally adopt gentleness as their way, without allowing others to take advantage of them. Finally, one must always remember a simple Islamic philosophy. How one treats others is how they will be treated by Allah, the Exalted. If one shows harshness in their speech and actions towards others, then they will be treated similarly by Allah, the Exalted. Whereas, if they treat others with gentleness, by making things easy for others, aiding others in good things and overlooking the mistakes and faults of others, then they will be treated similarly by Allah, the Exalted.